Hi there. We have decided to donate to the victims of the typhoon. So Marge, Kathy, Ogot, and I gave what we could give and collected it here. We donated canned goods, blankets. What else did we donate, Joji? Don't worry. I already put them all in this table. This is good, Joji. This will help us see how many items we donated. Mm-hmm. Look, here, you can see your name, the number of items, and what you donated. So many numbers. Sometimes, tables like that can be confusing because of all of the numbers. Hmm, maybe it would be easier if this were put into a bar graph, or a pie chart, or a pictograph. Surprise! Here's the answer to your wish. What's that? A bar graph. And a pie chart. Off from the table made by Joji. Really? Yes, I gave them the assignment to make graphs out of this table. And I think there it is. Can we see it, guys? Here's the bar graph. As you can see, we have collected a lot of clothes. I think there's enough water. And almost the same number of blankets, slippers, and canned goods. Wow, I can see it clearly. You have the items we donated. In another view, this is the pie chart. You'll notice that almost half of our donations are clothes. Looks great, guys. Nice graphs. That's right, Algot. These are great. But, hmm, no one has made a pictograph yet. Hey, do you want to help us make a pictograph? <laughs> That's great. Come on. Let's make a pictograph of the things we donated. Let's call this pictograph donations. We should put the items that we donated on this side. We donated canned goods, bottled water, clothes, blankets, and slippers. We donated 24 canned goods, 39 bottles of water, 72 pieces of clothes, 22 blankets, and 24 slippers. There! That's the pictograph of our donations. Thank you for your help. Always remember to put the title and the labels needed for the tables, graphs, and pictographs that you make. Based on these graphs, it seems we need more canned goods. Yes, I think we can add more of that. Maybe we can ask our neighbors if they want to give something. But haven't they donated to the barangay already? Yes, they did. But I think there are still some who still want to donate, but don't know where to give it. Well, there's only one way to find out. We have to go around the neighborhood and ask. And collect if there's anyone who wants to donate. I can do that. Really? <laughs> Thanks, Marge. But what if many of our neighbors give donations? Marge can't carry that alone. Someone has to go with her, so I also volunteer. Good point, Ogot. You two will go around the... Wait! What is it, Kathy? I don't think two is enough to carry those donations. Maybe three. So wait, do you want to go all around the neighborhood and ask? Is it okay? Of course. Hmm, you know what? Let's all go together. What do you think? Yes! yes. Let's, Let's go. go! Sometimes teamwork makes things easier and better. What to do before, during, and after the storm? Turn off and unplug appliances. You have to prepare blankets so that you stay warm. Prepare an emergency bucket or bag. Pack items such as bottles of water, a flashlight, radio, canned food, and garbage bags. 
stay indoors. Stay away from windows that are not boarded up. Be careful when going outside. Watch your step and keep your eyes open for things that may fall from above. Do not touch electric wires. If you see an injured or trapped person, ask help from an adult. When going back to your house, enter very carefully. Your family should check your walls and be alert for danger. As long as we are prepared and know what to do, we have a better chance to be safe when the storm comes. Subordinating conjunctions are used to connect subordinate clauses or clauses that cannot stand alone to main or independent clauses. There are many subordinating conjunctions. Can you spot them in these sentences? Check your surroundings after the storm has passed. After. The subordinating conjunction is after. How about here? Call an adult if you are unsure. Right. The subordinating conjunction is if. Next, how about in this sentence? When there is a storm, you have to take precautions. Yes, the subordinating conjunction is when. Finally, the damage will be less if we know the right information. The subordinating conjunction is if. Always remember that the subordinating conjunctions connects the subordinate clause to the main clause. Yo, what's up? It's James Les Reed here. And do you remember what we talked about last time? <laughs> well, let me remind you. Do you remember the complex consonants K, N, W, R, and G, N. Wait, why are they complex? Well, that's because the first letter is silent, but the second letter is the beginning sound. You know, no knife, knee, not. Gnaw, gnarled, no minette. Wrist, wriggle, wrong and right. The second letter is the beginning sound again. No knife, knee, not. Gnaw, gnarled, no minette. Wrist, wriggle, wrong, right. The second letter is the beginning sound. The second letter is the beginning sound. The second letter is the beginning sound. Yeah! <laughs> Now, why don't we try making sentences with these words with complex consonants? Look at all those gnats and gnomes in the garden. The athlete's knee was hurt after running. Is it wrong to write letters? Cool complex consonants, right? <laughs> well, see you again next time. Wow, Chochi, I can't believe we were able to collect all these from our neighbors. Well, of course, that's how Filipinos are. We're always ready to help when someone's in need. Some of them even told us to come back if we need anything. Such kind people. And another good thing is we are able to collect more food and water. Now, what do we do with all these? Well, first, we're going to have to sort them, and then we have to pack them, and then we bring them over to the barangay. They're the ones who will coordinate with the typhoon victims. Are we going to count all these and make tables and graphs again? Please? Well, it looks like you had a lot of fun making those graphs. Hmm, and actually, Doing that will be very helpful. <laughs> Yay! We, we volunteered to, to do it. it. Well, that's great. Hey, thank you for being with us today. 
We'll see you again next time. And we hope you had a great time because my room is your room. Bye. Okay, bye.